Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today to do another M's Scrap Busters Challenge. That's the challenge run by Melina at Me Crafted Scrapper, where she yes, a challenge to use your scraps. And what have we got today? We've got these cute little baggies. It's a bag with another bag and a tuck spot and it can go in your journal. So if you put it down on three two sides three two sides <laughs> two sides you'd have yet another tuck spot as you can see I've not even decorated this I'm just looking for bits in my ephemera box that fits perfect so it's going in yeah and the brilliant thing what Melina did is she filled the middle the other pocket with scraps so if you pop this in a journal you can use scraps of just book page I'm putting some painters paper in or whatever you've used to make that journal and then the person has got some ready-made scraps to do some more collaging or decorating so how cute is that and yeah we can fit one more thing behind there will that look good no it's a bit pink it's a bit pink that one isn't it oh I've got a label there we go that's done could put a tab on that you could put anything you want in them it's more about how to make the bags today so here we go let's make one first one I'm gonna make is from another book page I've got all sorts out to make them with and it's just simple yet yeah, your writing will go running up and down so I'm just gonna fold that over then I'm gonna fold this over again to width I want my bag mm, let's have one a bit wider there we go and then just glue that bit to that bit I think I'm going to use my glue stick on this one I don't really need heavy glue just for that bit I do have a glue book out somewhere but I've lost it oh it's here look I'm just my desk's just yeah I'm, I'm not apologizing for it I'm just letting you know how it is <laughs> uh, creative chaos yeah that's what I'm going to call it a creative chaos so I'm just gluing the edge of the under flap on that side and the outside of the flap on that side so when I put them together now like that it's going to be glued I can't even put it together straight this time which is another reason why I love Elmer's Extreme you get wiggle time with it so that will still be glued lovely there we go I've got two goods at that some glue sticks put them down and you can't move them can you now to make the bottom of the bag just take the bottom this is why thin paper's best you can do this without messing measuring or using your scoreboard grab your scissors where's my scissors <laughs> here we go cut that off at an angle I'm making the back of this nice because I don't know if I'm going to glue it in a journal it might just be a free floating pocket so best to cover all the bases then you cut that inner one off so there you've got your bag I like the ripped edge there I've done that on purpose because I like the look of it let's grab some ink I'm just going to ink that little bit before I glue it down and again I'm going to use my glue stick for this don't need a heavy duty glue well this is heavy duty glue stick I mean we don't yeah you know what I mean right this was other fabulous thing I thought Melina had done that notch there as soon as I saw that before I even knew what she'd used I'm like love the shape of that notch how on earth has she done it she used a tab punch I mean you know I love this tab punch it makes fabulous tabs but I never thought of doing this way it's so nice one Melina and I'm just going to put it to about there for a punch I'm going to face it to me make sure it's straight so yeah I have strained it up since you saw what I'd done there we go oh I got this one better so it's got a little round corner there absolutely love that top idea missus and then I've just been talking to my friend Cheryl while I've been making my prototype and she gave me the idea for the next notch on the other little bag if you look at that one I've done it with my uh, scalloped square punch where are your scalloped square punch? I've just chucked you back in the basket I've lost you forever where are you? 
I've done, I've done with little one, but I've got my big one here. Yeah, it's that punch. What a fabulous idea. So yeah, oh, it's the little one. Found it, found it. Because I want to use it again on this. Right, so let's finish inking this. But yeah, absolutely love these eye, these little bags. I've not gone ahead and inked the back yet. If I do decide to keep it uh, free floating, I'll ink the back then. Right, so I've made, obviously that's a different size look. Same size book page, but because I've folded it differently, it's ended up a different size pocket. But that's all good. We like that. We want that. We don't want little carbon copies. Right, what am I going to make the other page out of? I don't want to use that same book page. I have grabbed, I've got lots of digitals and I've got some odd, that's a love, do you know that one? This, I've never used this page because I like it too much. How mad is that? So do you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to use it. You're going to know what I mean by that. I bet you've all got things in your stash that you don't use because you like them too much. How crazy is that? How absolutely crackers. Right, I'm gonna... I want my other pocket about as deep as it were on that one. So I'm gonna... I'll probably just end up with a branch on this. I'm gonna use top at page. So, yeah, then room for me a lip. If you don't know what I'm on about, this has ended up being three and a quarter inches. I've cut off top of that book page. I'll measure you that one. Um, just so you know what I ended up with. That was three inches by four bit time it were done. That weren't planned. This one is three and a half by four. Well, it's a smidgen shorter than four. So, again with this. Right, you could fold it that way and just have text showing, couldn't you? But I want this. So, I want the conkers showing. I really do. I'm going to fold it there. I'm probably wasting a lot of this book page here. So we'll get that bit showing. Yeah, and then I'll, f I'll fold it again there, then I'll cut a bit off. If you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to be very brave here and use my scissors. So I'm just going to cut it there. This time the seams ended up in a different place, but it doesn't really matter. That weren't intentional that just happens to be how it went because these edith pages are a bit thicker i'm going to use my art glitter which i have decanted into a smaller bottle because whatever was stopping it coming out would yeah it would do my nothing i don't seem to be having as much issue this time so i'm now on to my other glue stopper from the lovely Kay. Kay has a shop and she sells these glue stoppers and she kindly sent me one. And then I bought another. <laughs> so. Here we go. Before I go folding that one up. I'm just going to give it a couple of seconds to dry. Because it's thicker. When I start folding that up. It might start making that come apart. So I'm going to. I don't want to do a scallopy shaping top this time. I think I just want to do a bog standard circular one. So I've got this. This is my one and a quarter inch punch. Not because I needed that size, but because that was the first size I grabbed. There we go. I might grab a different size next time. I'm getting much more random in my old age. I'm struggling to get my arms on the desk here. I've got that much stuff hanging about. I'll just be inking that front bit as well. Now I think that's given it enough time to dry, so I'm just going to... Fold that bottom up exactly the same as I did with other. Cut them edges off. I'm not being too precise. I've not measured them. I've not got my plastic card out. Then cut that one off. I didn't cut into the front bit there. No, I didn't. And I'm just going to ink that edge in case it becomes a floating pocket. And then I'm going to glue this one down again with art glitter. Lena was using her barely arts. It's so expensive that over here. I must have a word with Shirley Whirly for his next swap. 
I say as an ex swap, I haven't finished first swap yet. I still haven't sent her a big box of books. It is all now packed up, ready, Shirley Whirly, and it will be going on Monday. See, I've told everyone now it's got to go Monday, hasn't it? <laughs> right, so let's have a look, see what that looks like in our book page pocket. Oh, that's gorgeous. And this one, do I want to do this one straight or wonky again? That's another thing I noticed, Melina, wait, 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 Katie, not Katie Wumpus, Summit Wumpus, and we said Katie Cornered, aren't you Kate? Katie Wumpus, it was Summit Wumpus, oh I forgot now, I'm sure you'll all tell me in comments, somebody's going to know aren't they? Because as soon as I finish this video I'm going to go back and watch Melina's again because I've still not commented on it, and I've watched it about three times. Wee. I mean, you don't have to do them from book page. Melina's done a lot of hers with scrapbook paper. I'm going to do one in a minute with scrapbook paper. Uh, she's also done a bit of collage under the second bag on some of them. You can do what you want. I'm going to get my bone folder and just bone fold the edge of that bag down. You know, with this being thicker paper, it needs a bit of bone folding. There we go. Right, so what we're going to pop in this one. I've got my box of small paper ephemera out. It gets all sorts chucked in it here in this. Oh, what's that? That's a bit too big, isn't it? What else we got? That's a nice butterfly tag, but it's a bit long. But it just goes so well, doesn't it? Could I cut part of a flower off and make that a short tag? I'm going to do it. I am. I'm going to do it with my trimmer though, I'm too scared to do it with my scissors, it'll just end up really, really wrong. Perfect size now. So I'll do the inking around the edge. I think I might do as I did on yesterday's video and staple some fabric or something to the top or lace. I'm a bit bored with putting holes in everything and eyelets. We have these phases, don't we? I think, do you know, and also I think these might just need a butterfly. I did get my box of butterflies out. because so lately I have been resisting sticking a butterfly on everything so well. I thought it would time I stuck a butterfly on something. No. That's a rub on that. I don't know when I did that. I haven't a clue. Let's have a look and see. I think a lot of these might be a bit too small actually. I have to start making things. Ooh, what's that? I've got these tags, part made tags, that's too big. Oh, that'll poke out nicely, won't it? Yeah, so oh, that'll be lovely with a butterfly on. Grab your butterfly box, missus. Yeah, at one point, everything had to have a butterfly on. I'll go on an offer, it would appear. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, he's a bit too... No, he just don't good, as there? Might be pretty, but he's not going on there. He's nice. Yeah, he's a nice colour. Oh, look at that. He's nice. Yeah. Oh, they're all nice. The butterflies. What am I on about? It's like... I'm trying to decide which butterfly's nicest. That's like which chocolate's nicest, isn't it? Well, it's chocolate, so it's nice. Well, on the whole, yeah, on the whole. Whole nuts, that's my favourite chocolate, yum. You uh, over in the US don't get whole nut, do you? Apparently, apparently so. But, ooh, what are you missing out on? I don't know if there's an equivalent, it's just milk chocolate with whole hazelnuts in it. Nuts, all hazelnuts, oh. Cover is take them and they cover them with chocolate. There you go, I've sung for you. I'll try not to do it again. <laughs> right, which butterfly? I don't know, I, do, I like this one. I really do like that butterfly, it's so cute. I think we need the butterfly and a word. I've still got all my words hanging about from yesterday's video. And I thought I'll use some of these. Spirit, I like that. Yeah, it is the easiest one to cut off, but I happen to like it. I 
There we go. Yeah, I really need a session of cutting out things. Cutting out uh, words. And I know I've got off camera to sort bits fall away. Yeah, cutting out words and yeah, more butterflies, more flowers, just more things in general. I want to crack on with a fairy project and I need to cut out some fairies. Yeah. I might even try using my scan and cut for that. The poor thing's been covered in dust for, must be two years. Mine's quite an old one. I got it when they first come out uh, from Creating Craft on, uh, what were it called, Easy Pay or something. You pay so much a month for it. And it isn't wireless, which is such a pain in the bum. I mean, if you're going to spend a couple of hundred quid on something, you'd expect it to be upgradable, and it isn't. Very upset with that, very upset. I mean, I've got the basic, I've got a cricket machine as well. It's the basic cricket one again. I got that from Crate and Craft on Easy Pay. And it, that wasn't wireless, but what they then did is they brought out a wireless dongle for it so that you could use it wirelessly. Why ever? Tell me if you've got a scan and cut and they have made it so that you can upgrade it. Maybe they have now and I just don't know about it. There's an awful lot I don't know. So, yeah, they could have. Right, I'm grabbing my box out here of stuff. Oh, that's some nice checked paper that you can collage with in your journal, isn't it? I think we might put that in as well. You know the piece that we cut off the Edith Olden page? People love a little Edith Olden number. I could even put that there. No, it sticks up too far. So, yeah, that can go in. I like how the number's peeking out now. I'm not going to ink it though, the person who gets this in a journal at some point may not want it inked. I've got a bit of tea dyed paper and a bit of this handmade paper that feathers lovely when you rip it. That's lovely for just popping a little bit under a word. Yeah, fabulous idea that Melina, really like that idea. I mean, I quite often if I sell a journal, I will send a little extra bag with bits. But never have I thought of including the bits as a feature of the journal. But that is just such a good idea. Right, he needs a butterfly. I know that's a conquer. And I know you perhaps don't get butterflies at that time of year. But it just needs a butterfly, I'm afraid. And another word. And I'm going to put that dark butterfly on. And I have no idea what word I'm going to use. I think he needs to go there. He just needs to go there. Ta da! And. Oddments. Oh wow, that's perfect. Oddments, because that's what's in it, isn't it? Oddments. I do love having that word ready to go, oddments. It's such a quaint little word. Plenty of Fabri-Tac. We'll pop you. I'm going to pop you on. Do I, this want to be straight or one? I think this needs to be straight. I really do. Yeah, that's it. So that's oddments. And it's a bag of oddments. Love it. I think I need to print that word out more to put on the others. Yeah. So there we have one done, two done. I just love them. That one needs a butterfly now. I've not, that's it. I've done it now. They all need a butterfly. Each and every one needs their own flutterby. Oh, I like him. Then he doesn't take away from the gorgeousness of the bag too much. But he's a bit big, isn't he? Has he got a little brother? What about that one? Big cabbage white. Do you know, I think I like that. I thought I just want it in the middle. Stuck, I'm going to Katie corner him that way. So I've covered all the foliage up now, and I? I like it. Oh, they're so sweet. I think I want to carry on making them with book page, but I'm supposed to be showing you a variety of what we can do with these things. But I just keep wanting to make more same. I'm going to make another one with a book page. Things have to come in threes, don't they? Of course they do. Oh, waffle-tastic. 
So that's that. And that's going to be that. I'm not stressing too much about where my crease ends up at back. I'm really not that fussed. I've got one of mine off school today. <laughs> uh, someone, Zoe, hello Zoe, asked me what you were off school, what you were off school with. And I said, I think it's a case of don't want to go to school on a Friday-itis. But no, actually, she may have a migraine coming on. Uh, she does have migraines. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. Do you know when you've made a bad call on something in the past, then you're so you're so afraid to do it again. Yeah, I did send her to school once. Went, oh, then I don't don't feel well. Might have a might go to school. I'm like, go to school. You'll be all right. You'll be fine. She actually threw up on a desk in science. Poor little thing. I'm saying little thing. She's 15, but I fancy having that happening in front of everyone at school. She mum's said like, go to school. You'll be fine. So now. When she's that complains she's got a migraine coming on at the end of the week, I'm more likely to err on the side of caution. But the problem is, she knows it. But I, I know from my own experience, that is usually when migraines come on at the end of the week, when you're a bit stressed with everything. So, yeah. But I'll give her a due. She's not asked to go on Xbox, and she did actually stay in bed and get some extra kip. Which, yeah, maybe it weren't the case if I don't want to go to school on a Friday-itis. Uh, anyway, and she's managed to make me a cup of tea or two. When she's had one, she's asked me. So, yeah. She's going on Monday. Sure as eggs are eggs, that kid will be at school on Monday. I might be there with her, waiting for the gates to open, just to get her boot up backside, make sure she goes in. No, I wouldn't do that, really. Yeah, I would. <clears throat> right, I'm going to glue the bottom of this. Yeah, it's a bit like I can't even explain what I was doing on that one. I've just waffled. So I think I think you got it by then, didn't you? Well, I've, made, I've done a video making bags like this before. Anyway, I'm sure I have. I think I did them out of glassine. Ooh, yeah. I think Melina did a couple of glassine ones in her video. I want to use this punch again. I'm sorry for being very samey, but I do want a set of three bags that match. I really do. Even though they're all going to go in different journals, probably. I'll make next one out of a leftover digital or a different book page. Right, so we've used different pages there. I've got Edith Olden and a piece of that. I don't actually think I've got another different book page here. So, have I? Oh my god, I just did grab random handfuls of rubbish from all over. We've got another one of that. I've done one in that. Do something different, Julie. Do something different. Stop making them all the same. Oh, what's that? Ooh. That'd be good. Is that going to be a bit white? Is that going to be a bit too stark? Not if I ink it up. I'm sure I could make a bag and make sure that won't front. Yeah, let's give that a whirl, see if I can manage it. So, if I... Oh, that's nice. No, use it the other side now. Stop changing your mind. I fold that over just left of the picture. Or just right of the picture, depending on which side we're looking at it from. And then I can fold that over. Oh, it's ended up off to one side, but that doesn't matter. It's going to be too small, isn't it? That's going to be like a water and a duck's bum. That's just not going to work. That's not working, that one. I've got this urge to take a full book page, but that would be very naughty. But I'm going to grab one I've got here. Ooh, ooh, that looks good. This is one of the books I've took apart a while back. Ooh, yeah. Look at that, it's all green. and It's very green. I know it's not really a scrap yet, but they're not things I'm going to decoupage with, and they're just not, are they really? Could I make that the edge of the bag? 
Or is it a little bit too damaged? I can make that edge up bag. In fact, I'm just going to chop, choppity chop, choppity chop. No scissors needed here. I've got that far too over. Far too over. Too far over. I will make a bag out of this if it kills me. I can. I can do it. <laughs> I'm not going to cut that because that's going to then fold out. I've cut too much off it, haven't I? I really have. No, I can do it. I can save this. I'll save it if it kills me. So, then that. Yeah, you've done it. You'll just have that dodgy crease on the back of your bag. That'll be right. You'll be okay. You can live with that. Yeah. So I'm going to cut that off. Just short of the edge of the bag again. Yeah. There we go. Then I'll fold it up about there. And I'll do all cutting on this one before I do gluing. So I want to cut that off because it's too tall. So you've now just seen how to make a bag and get the picture you want where you want it. Because I really were going to make a bag out of this page. I went to no for an answer. I think I might like cutting this before I glue it better anyway. Makes my life a bit easier. Yeah, it does. And who don't want an easy life? Eh? So, this is slightly thicker book page again, so I'm using my art glitter. What's light like? Have we gone dark? We have. Oh no, no, that's just far too bright, isn't it? Now that camera's moved. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've sent you seasick. That's better. And it's the which side do I want to glue this on? This side. Because I keep turning it round. I've got that in my way, haven't I? Now I've got glue on inside. Oh, this is turning into a little bit of a disaster. Right, I've got glue there. I don't want it sticking when I don't want it. I don't want it to stick inside together, so I'm just going to get some of my talc off this tool and just cover that just to make sure because you never really know, do you? Oh, have I done it again? Nearly. Oh, you crazy lady. That crease would just throw in me there, weren't it? That nearly did for me, that did. Do you know one thing I've not done in all of the time making this bag? I haven't measured it. I haven't measured it to see if it fits on the other bag. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Maybe I should have done that before sticking it all together. There you go. Sometimes you need a bit of luck. A bit of luck is better than a bit of good judgement. It's a bit tall so I'm just going to chop it down a bit. Maybe. If I make these again, I'll make my small bags first. I, d I don't really know. I didn't cut that very well at all. That's better. That's still a bit big. I need to cut a bit more off top. I really didn't want to cut point off that uh, piece of greenery. There we go. This is not going to get much Katie corner in done, is it? Well, oh, it will. Right. Chomper notch. I'm going to use this again because I like it. I'm going to use that one. There you go. It's my little stamp punch. Somehow I've made a sharp corner there in it this time, so I'm just going to cut that off because I can. And then I'll just make the other one match. There we go, quite happy with that. And let's ink the edges. And I just want to put a bit of, you know, because it was a very white page. There we go, it matches better now. 
and I'm going to glue the bottom and the right hand side again. I've just got urge now to put glitter on these. Where did that come from? I think I've been watching too much Christmas crafting. I've not done any Christmas crafting. Seeing as it's, hmm, yeah, nigh on five weeks to Christmas, I'm not going to get a lot of Christmas crafting done, am I? Because I ain't even got my Christmas craft stuff out. I'm just really not on ball. Forethought and planning, not my strong suits. There we go. I like that. That needs a butterfly. That needs a butterfly with some colour. Has that got too much colour? Oh no, I think it looks good. It ties it in with others then, even though they're going in separate projects. Oh yes. You've got a lot of colour, but we're going to stick you on anyway, because you do look good. Oh, while I'm remembering, uh, Shirl, what we were talking to earlier, she, that's it. Shirl of Ethel Lou's Unique Boutique, I'll link her. She has a sale on Sunday, so I urge my particularly American viewers, go and have a look, she's selling all sorts. She has some real bargains sometimes. Where's my glue? There it is. I mean, oh, if you saw a price she was selling 12, 12 by 12 paper pads you know the ones I really don't need anymore of but couldn't resist buying if they were gorgeous oh, price she was selling some of those I think last sale were just like oh wow but it's just not cost effective to buy those for me in the UK they're so heavy oh, I like him I like him there he's good and I think we need a little word I'm going to use a Timothy Holt's word because I can and I need a little word. What words have you got for me today, Timmy? What is Tim saying? Tim says, we will be neighbours. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Stars are down the sky, yes, but not, that's not nothing to do with butterflies, is it? Under cover of the rain, a memory to hold. I like that one. A memory to hold. You can get stuck on. Put Timmy back, we can't lose the Timmy words. I remember when I bought those thinking, wow, they're expensive, but I've got to say they last forever. They really do last forever. Well, you know they don't really last forever, but yeah, in crafting terms, they last forever. I'm putting a bit of glue on this because, because I've been getting my monkey fingers all over it, back of it, basically. And I think I want that over that green leaf. A memory to hold. There we go, I like that. Now let's stick some in there. See what we've got. We could actually put a giant butterfly inside the pocket, couldn't we? But you might get stuck and never want to come out again. That's the only problem. You might get too cosy in there. Right, I'm going to put a bit of this. I've made paper in here again because it's nice stuff. Oh, that's lovely. Bit of handmade paper. Should we put a bit of oh, got a bit of straw paper? Let's fold that up and pop it in for some collage. That'll be nice. I've got to say again, top idea, Melina, doing that. Oh, what else we got? A bit more of the green painter's paper, me thinks. Oh, yeah. I'm going to fold it this time. That's just such a cute little packet, isn't it? Love it. Right, we need a little tag for inside and behind. A You've got to put a tag in or two. You. What have we got in here? Mm, pre made things. I really need to sort my pre made things. They're not organised very well at all. Hence, I'd never know where to look for stuff. Is there anything there? Right, no, there's a tea dyed tag. That's about it. Ooh. No, it's not caring, is it? Ooh, what about them? No, they just don't go, do they? They don't go. I need to have a definite <coughs> ephemera sort out. I've got them all in a big box and then I've got extra tubs when the big box overflowed and 
Oh, ooh. I might put that on. I might cut that down and make it fit because it is nice. Gotta pick a pocket or two, you. Actually, I'm not advocating that you go out and pick pockets. I'm just going to make one. Ah, look at that. I just want that to fit and it doesn't. It would fit inside. No, we don't want one for inside, do we, Deirdre? Right, let's look in here again. Yes, I know we had another one of them. Is this one a bit tall? Of course it's not tall. You've used the same book page. It's exactly the same height as the last one was. But that could fit in there. Why would it be taller when you've made it the same height? I've got urge to put one of these in. Look at them, aren't they adorable? Little suitcases. You, oh, they're very painstaking to make. It's a die I got from AliExpress. You've got the base, then you've got the straps, then you've got all, each separate corner in the handle. And then I've drawn some buckles on with some gold pen. Yeah, sorry about that random tangent. I just went off on. Oh, look at that. How perfect is that? Oh, yes, that's the perfect size. See, it does pay to be surrounded by randomness. Because sometimes it's just the kind of randomness you're looking for. But I don't think I'm going to find anything for the back of there. I might just cut a bit of digital ephemera out. Oh, yeah, you've got a drawer full of digital ephemera, haven't you? I forgot that. Ta da! Look at this. I forgot this huge box of scraps. There's going to be something in here that's just perfect. I just know it. That's a maybe. I know some of you do like seeing me just rifle through random boxes of rubbish. And I've got plenty of them to go at. What does that say? Herb, herbal, medicinal, medicinal, medicinal healing. What else we got? Oh, birdies, bird tags. These is again. This is just. I am really bad at printing out far too much stuff. This is why I've had almost a year-long ban on printing things out. It is, it's, I've hardly printed anything out at all this year and I've still got loads left, so... Oh, that's so nice, that's so perfect. Oh, so's that. Right, I've got enough now to fill them. I'm going to move that out of the way because it's taking up a very huge chunk of room on my desk. Move that. Right, which one needed a card with this one? Where's my sense of size? Look at that. <laughs> that was going to be perfect, but I'll tell you how it will be perfect. Just like that. Don't crease it with your finger, because there's no doubt your fingers are absolutely filthy now. From all glue and rubbing on ink and bits of this and bits of that. I do have a bone folder somewhere, because I've used it. I think I've lo I own three bone folders now and I've lost all of them. I think I'm gonna have to give myself a talking to about putting things away properly. So I'm using Endemy craft knife because I can. Oh, look at that, how perfect is that? So I've now got that sticking out. If I put it in the other way, we will see the flowers sticking out. Brilliant. Then I'm just going to ink round edge of that. And you know what I'm going to put on it, don't you? Of course you do. A butterfly. Just because I can. Right. Ooh. He looks the right size, a butterfly. Oh, he's quite nice there. But will he match the front? He's more like a dark grungy moth into than a light bright. There was that, weren't there? That herbal card. That fits good. Mm, he's a bit dark and dingy really, isn't he? He's not quite going with theme at project. Got a bit more colour on today, haven't we? I'm very low on butterflies. 
But then I'd feel sorry for these ones not getting used up if I went and cut out new fresh butterflies. It's like these deserve to be seen. They deserve their day in the sun. Oh, I like that one. That is one I've just cut out from. Yeah. I fact that were. I think I made those in a junk mail series I did. That was actually a leaflet from, I don't know whether it was a garden centre or what. Just collage, well, decoupaged it onto some card and punched out some flutterbys. That's that. And let's have another word from here. I think we're going to have bless. There we go. I'll let you see me cut it out this time. And throw out bits all over my desk. So these have turned into book page bags, haven't they? I've done them all with book pages, but hey ho. You can make them any scraps you've got. I always link Melina's scrap busters, so if you go and watch Melina, you'll see her make them out of something other than book pages. I just got on a roll, didn't I, wanting to use book pages? Right. Is this the one that goes in? Yeah. Just need to bob something on the top. I don't know what. Like, do I? Does every tag need a topper on? I, I'm going to rebel and not put a topper on that tag, because I don't have to if I don't want to. Right, let's throw all that out it way. And you can actually see what we made. I'm quite happy with those. They are so sweet. What a fabulous idea, Melina. Thank you so much. I mean, you don't have to fill them all with your uh, bits for your junk journal, but another part of the scrap busters is only you make what you're going to use, don't you? Yeah, so the, I'm definitely going to use these. So I've made them. I oh, really like those. I hope you've enjoyed watching and give it a whirl. Yeah, these are just book pages and some unused bits of digitals from kits I'd printed out and were never going to use otherwise. So thank you very much for watching. Oh, one quick note. I have put a community post up about my giveaway, yeah? I was going to do the live draw tonight, but I've decided Saturday is going to be better. Sorry for changing the goalposts on you, the date. It'll just give people who haven't entered another day to enter, won't it? I think Saturday, I, I'm going to catch more people who might want to join. It's the first time I've done a live. Uh, I will, I'll tell you the time, I will be doing it at 8pm Saturday night in the UK. I know that translates to 2pm Central Time in the US. Yeah, and yeah, you'll know, yeah, what you relate to Central Time in the US, won't you? I'm assuming. So yeah, it will be 8pm UK time. So, right, I am going this time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow live at 8pm. Bye!